Hello everyone, Insanoflux here, and in today's Skyrim Mod Showcase, I want to feature Deadly Dragon Spells and Deadly Dragon's Armory. First, I'll go over Deadly Dragon Spells and review what is added to the game. I'll show examples of the Totem Spell Progression System and demonstrate some of the unique spells. In the second part, I'll go over Deadly Dragon's Armory, which adds several sets of powerful new armors and 9 new weapons to Skyrim. The armor can only be crafted by reagents dropped by dragons, and the weapons can only be obtained by killing dragons. Deadly Dragon Spells is another spell mod for Skyrim, created by the same author behind Deadly Dragons and Deadly Dragons Armory. This mod adds 57 spell tomes with base spells and 36 improvements for these spells. You can purchase all the spells from Croin, a new vendor in Arcanium in the Mage's College. To improve your spells, you have to spend Dragon Souls at totems located in the Hall of Elements. Dragon Souls are needed to unlock a more powerful version of the spell. If you have any excess Dragon Souls, spend them in the Hall of Elements to increase certain spell traits. You can add new effects and conditions to existing spells you own, strengthen them to deal more damage, or increase the duration. Each rank you buy increases the cost for the next rank, so it's sort of balanced like a perk or talent point system. For example, the first rank might be one Dragon Soul, the second two Dragon Souls, and the third and final rank might be four Dragon Souls. As an example of the upgrade system, I will use Hannah Moloch Ball and Doom. In their base form, Hannah Moloch Ball summons one falling meteor that deals disease damage on the target. Doom curses the target, causing constant damage every second over 12 seconds. When you upgrade these spells at their totems, Hannah Moloch Ball gains two additional meteors to deal damage, and Doom has a chance to restore health to you and spawn a skeleton if the enemy dies. Next I'll feature the archetypes added by the mod and go over some of the spells they contain. Affliction focuses on damage over time spells, such as Decay and Drain Soul. Decay deals damage over time, and Drain Soul deals more damage the lower the HP the target is. Drain Soul also fills a soul gem if the enemy dies while you are channeling. Arcane has abilities that can empower your spells and absorb magic damage. There are some other fun spells like Transmute, which turns 100 gold coins into a random item. In this example, I transmuted 100 gold coins into an elixir of resist cold. Another cool arcane spell is the Bottomless Bag, which can hold a limitless amount of items but costs a Dragon Soul to open it. The archetype Death has spells such as Corpse Explosion, which explodes nearby dead bodies to deal massive damage, and Death Rift, which is like a mini mark and recall, useful for a utility in fighting and adventuring. Fire has spells such as Volcano and Firebomb, shown here. Firebomb ignites the target for 12 points of damage each second for 6 seconds. After 6 seconds, the target explodes and deals fire damage in a 15 foot radius. Frost focuses on freezing enemies and instantly killing frozen foes by shattering them. Nature has spells related to restoration, such as Men which heals the caster 12 points per second for 10 seconds, and Blooms for an additional 75 points after the duration ends. The bloom part of the spell is also accompanied by a sound effect. The storm archetype features lightning spells, such as the lightning totem which casts chain lightning repeatedly and the shock totem spell which pulses with shock damage. There's also an ability called storm surge that when activated, each enemy that hits you will be struck with lightning. The Warfare archetype has abilities related to improving melee combat, such as Battle Stance, which increases damage by 10% and gives armor rating, and Recklessness, which grants your attacks an additional 30% chance to critically hit, but increases all damage you receive by 30%. There are also several form-like spells. These are abilities that have a toggle effect, where only one form could be active at a time. In this example, I'm using Shadow Form, which decreases the damage I take by 20% and causes my skeletons to explode when they die. This next form is called Wild Form, which increases your poison resistance by 50 and deals 10 damage to those around you in melee combat. Overall, I really enjoy this mod and will be using it in my next Let's Play series. I like the damage and heal over time spells added, and the feature where you improve the spells you already know by spending Dragon Souls provides much more incentive to kill dragons. Now, let's take a look at Deadly Dragon's Armory. This mod adds several new armor sets and 9 new weapons. The armor fits nicely with Skyrim's armor theme and has powerful bonuses when you complete a set. The weapons are rare and can only be obtained by killing dragons. The armors added by this mod are well done and have a distinct styling after dragons and dragon priests. With Deadly Dragon's armory installed, dragons will now drop new alchemy items, soul shards, jewels with magical properties, and armor pieces, to name a few. 
Most of these items are crafting materials for new equipment sets that have been added to the game. To craft these epic items, you must first collect the required materials and proceed to the smelter. Note that the various crafting recipes are tied to your character level. You'll not be able to craft or see most of the items added by Deadly Dragon's Armory when starting a new game or if you're a low level. At a smelter, you may craft the unenchanted armor pieces of your choice. Once finished, you may enchant them yourself or take them to a forge and upgrade them to a predetermined enchanted piece. The pieces you upgrade at the forge give a set bonus when you equip all the armor parts. This serves as an incentive to stick with the armor type or complete a set that you're working on. You can also improve the armor you craft and the weapons you find at a workbench or grindstone. Another cool feature added by Deadly Dragon's Armory are gems. Gems are like amulets that provide a bonus to something, but only one can be equipped. You can find these on dead dragons as well as crafting them at a forge. The weapons added by the armory are powerful and have unique enchantments, such as Ashbringer, which is a bow that burns enemies and has a chance to cause a fury explosion. It also staggers all within its effect, even you. Next I want to show Sky Rage, which is a sword that has a 33% chance to cast Chain Lightning when it strikes an enemy. The other seven weapons have pretty cool effects too, but I like these ones the most. Deadly Dragon's Armory combined with Deadly Dragon spells adds more depth to the dragons of Skyrim, and should be coupled with Deadly Dragons to really increase the experience of Skyrim. All three Deadly Dragons mods are a must download for anyone who enjoys challenging, yet rewarding gameplay. If you would like to see more videos about Skyrim, as well as Diablo 3 gameplay and commentary, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Anyways, thanks for watching this episode of Skyrim Mod Showcase. If you would like to download any of the mods featured in this video, the download link will be provided in the video description below. That's it. That's all you've got.